What's going on Crunch Nation? It's Crunch here coming at you with another YouTube video and today boys I got a banger for you. I got a Ravens theme team. Yes, I got the best Ravens theme team in the game. Now a couple cards aren't completely upgraded as much as I'd like to but I wanted to get this team out for you guys. If you're new to the channel, what we do here, we do a bunch of coin making methods, gameplays, theme teams, pretty much anything you can think of for Madden Ultimate Team. If you like the video, make sure you like it, it gets it out there so more people can see it, helps us grow the channel, and make sure you subscribe and turn that noti bell. Turn in noti bell lets you be notified every time I make an upload. But um, we will get into the team. Uh, I'll highlight the couple things that aren't completely maxed out. See, you'll see Lamar Jackson isn't in his power up. I, I have his power up all the way up until this card goes in. But I think it's more worth it to just keep the chems that's on them right now um, for the most part. And then um, the other things that isn't. Um, Doomerville. I didn't pay the 2500 to get him up uh, past a 90. So once I do that, he'll be a 91, 92. But besides that, this team is completely finished. Um, I will say I would probably use a um, sub out Aeneas Williams for this. But my main team has Aeneas, and I would use Ed McCaffrey. I think that would be the better move there. But we will show you um, Lamar's stats. He is 91 speed, 90 throw power. Um, all the throwing stats are not too bad. He is a beast and um, anchor of the team, especially with the Ravens theme. So I, before I continue, I'm going to show you exactly what it gives this year. So you get two strength, the impact block, jumping, play rec, agility, change of direction, a cell, carrying, two speed. Um, one thing I did forget to um, put in here, I got Barry Sanders now, so we're going to put him in. I forgot to put him in before we started the video, so we're going to make that little upgrade right now. We'll put um, uh, Mostert in as number two. And finalize Ingram as number three. So we're all set now. So I'll go over everything. Now, uh, as you guys probably already know what's new, these uh, superstars, you can only have um, up to 10 AP limit. And you can put that as, on as many players as you want, but you can only use three superstars so i'm gonna show you barry's stats card is amazing plays really really well with the 93 speed 96 excel 96 agility that is huge for this time in the year and that change of direction 96 breaks a lot of tackles too this card is just a beast and yeah he's expensive but he's worth it if you're running a theme team so andre johnson is our number one wide receiver Marquise Brown is two, and Willie Sneed comes in at three. Like I said, I would probably use Ed McCaffrey if I was playing with this team right now. Put Ed McCaffrey number two, and then move Marquise Brown to the slot. Our O-line's actually pretty good. Uh, the Ronnie Staley, he's pretty solid. Um, Bradley Bozeman, same thing, 84. Uh, Ryan Jensen. I'd like to see him get an upgrade shortly, but he's actually pretty good too. DJ Fluker, um, I, we almost have a whole elite offensive line already, which is pretty sweet. And if Marshall Yonda didn't retire, we would have. Now Darren Waller, card is a beast, especially for an 81 base elite. He's got 85 speed. Just wait till he gets an upgrade. This card is going to be ridiculous. And pretty soon, at some point, we are going to get a Shannon Sharp. So we'll have a two-headed monster there. And uh, who knows, Darren Waller could be getting an upgrade at some point, too. Um, last but not least, our fullbacks. We got two good ones. We got Kyle Juszczyk coming in as an 86. And then we got Patrick Ricard here at 83. Um, 
I use Ricard just as much because he's actually a better blocker. So I use that. But if I want a fullback dive, anything like that, I'm going Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. All right, let's check out the defense. We got 92 Eric Weddle anchoring our secondary. Card is great. Um, 89 speed, 89 excel. Very good. The 91 tackle, 93 play rec, very good. I'd like to see the man a little bit higher, but that zone is very good. He is a ball hawk and gets a ton of picks for us. Uh, we got Earl Thomas backing him up, but we also have him starting over at strong safety because uh, Chuck Clark just doesn't really get it done. But we will look at Adelius Thomas. He is maxed out. Card is very very good with the 86 speed coming off the edge already super fast 89 excel and you're looking at the power move finesse moves um, i am running just lockdown on my defense right now just because you can't get enough chems but once i'm actually able to put pass rush on and that card is going to be very very good now another one that we don't have it completely maxed out is sam mills we will get there um, we're about halfway there, but we will get there. So just bear with me on that one. Um, still got a lot of grinding to do. Patrick Queen coming in at number three. I'd like to see him get an upgrade and LJ Fort in four. But CJ Mosley coming in as middle linebacker two. Not too bad for a one-two punch. Mosley's a little bit slow, but he'll get the job done. Now we got Matthew Judon as a backup and Elvis Doomerville. This card wrecks house for me. I'm telling you, he gets in there. And uh, that 82 speed, 89 Excel is actually pretty good. And I'm pretty sure you'll get a plus two to everything once I actually do upgrade him. And that finesse move will be in the 90s and will be really, really solid. But that covers that. We will move on to the corners. Rod Woodson picks literally everything for me. And this card is awesome. With 91 speed, 91 excel, 91 agility. Um, just under the zone coverage threshold. But the man is right there. So all we need to do is once we get a couple more chems. Once we're able to get it up for lockdown. He will be at 90 zone also. And we will be right there. Now, uh, we actually got really good corners. But like I said, we could probably have Marlon Humphrey as our number two and then move Aeneas over for um, McCaffrey. That would definitely help out the team. Marcus Peters coming in at the slot wouldn't be that bad. Calais Campbell, Michael Pierce, and Brandon Williams, and Derek Wolf all make a pretty good D-line for a theme team. None of them are amazing cards, but they're all pretty adequate. When you get them all together, they can actually recap it. We will show you um, Aeneas Williams' stats. Now he's 88 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility, and uh, hits the man threshold. Man is heavily used in this game, so I think that's actually the play to do. But um, yeah, very, very solid card. And we got very good corners on this team. So last, we're just going to go over the special teams. Sam Cook, Justin Tucker, very good. Marquise Brown is returning kicks. I can't complain there. Uh, we might move Barry in, but we'll decide. We'll decide there. Uh, third down and power back, Barry, obviously. Uh, the slot receiver, Willie Sneed. And then... Um, everyone else just slated at their regular positions. But that's all we got for you boys. I got, like I said, pretty much every card. It's just the first lineup update. I will have a lineup going out probably periodically every month. Once we get a big upgrade or something, I will try to get it out for you guys. But like I said, if you guys like the video, make sure you like it so it can get it out on the YouTube algorithm for us. Helps us out a lot. And uh, make sure you turn that noti bell so you're notified when we upload a video and you get to see how this theme team goes throughout the year. But that's all we got, boys. Peace.